Good morning, everyone. We woke up early this morning and left our campsite and drove up just before the entrance of Zion National Park to make some coffee. Driving into Zion is a whole experience in itself. And if you come in from the east side, there's this really cool tunnel that's over a mile long that cuts right through a massive mountain. All right, we've made it to Zion. We just parked and we're gonna go catch the shuttle up to Angel's Landing Trail. You do have to park in this visitor center parking lot and they run shuttles up to all the trails and attractions and stuff, so yeah. Oh, there's so much I wanna read around here. Just got dropped off. We go up. Take the grotto to the west rim to scout lookout to Angel's Landing. Yeah. 5.4, 4 hours, 1488 feet of ascent. And supposedly it's strenuous. Oh, it's gonna be strenuous. Let's go. You do have to have a permit to hike Angel's Landing and you can just apply online, it's six dollars. James and I applied the day before this and we're super lucky to land two permits, but I know from talking to other people, it can sometimes be really hard to get one. If you look really closely, you can see little tiny people hiking up, and that is what we are about to climb. Alright, we're about halfway up. It's been pretty chill up until this point. I'm hoping to see one of those Mexican spotted owls, but have not spotted one yet. We just finished going up like a million switchbacks, but there it is. That is the Famous climb. Right there. So good news, there's a bathroom up here. James needed to use it and we were like, uh oh. But uh, yeah, once you get up to the top, there's a bathroom to use, so that's nice. And now the real fun begins. Oh yeah, I've heard horror stories. Past this point, you have to have the permit. There's loose sand on top of the rock. Yeah, I don't like that. I can't get traction on it. It goes all the way up. Just have to be very Dude. <laughs> 
Do you see what we're on right now? This is... <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so awesome. Come on, I'm on the phone. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube too. This is the top false summit. We still got a little ways more. Further than I did. Jeez. Don't forget, she told you to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five places I've ever sat. Yeah, this is incredible. This is, this is a like must do. Apparently, we got really lucky because a lot of people lucky. were saying in line that they've been trying to apply for a permit every day for a week. Yeah, and some people never got it, and they're from all over the country coming here to do this. So we got very lucky. We applied one time <laughs> yesterday at 9 a.m. Yeah, and somehow we got it. So thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so good. They are so cute. Okay, going down is sketchy. Very. Uh uh. I like going up. This going down steps for the birds. Hurts my knees. a long way down. 
The squirrels and chipmunks here are not afraid of people. I almost stepped on him. He did, they don't get out of the way. <laughs> well, we are down the sketchy part. It really wasn't that bad. And now we just got a quick little cruise down oh, to squirrel. the bottom. Oh yeah. And we're probably gonna stop at the lodge and get some lunch real quick and go on another hike. Fish. All right, we finished our hike at Angel's Landing. We went to the lodge, got salads for lunch. It's really, really hot today. I'm in the van. I have the Max Air fan on our 12 volt fan and then we're trying out this little arctic air air conditioner that my grandma gave me it blows air i wouldn't say it's cold air but it does say that you're supposed to freeze the filter for ultimate results and i did not do that so whatever james was trying to get us a campsite here but everything is full we want to try to do one little afternoon easy little hike we're gonna chill out for a second and then I'll see you guys back on a trail. All right, we have decided to send it. We were going to wake up early tomorrow and do the Narrows, which is a Slot Canyon trail. And part of it is just walking through a river, but there's a chance of flash flooding tomorrow. We were like, well, we might as well go today. So that's what we're about to do. The whole trail is eight miles or nine miles out and back. I don't know that we'll do the whole thing. We'll probably just go to the narrow canyon, walk up the river a little bit until we feel good about it. We've made it to the trailhead. 1.2 mile walk by the river and then we enter into the narrows. Done. I'm excited. Done. rent shoes from the outfitter for this. They're waterproof. They're actually Adidas Turex. They're like a more heavy duty shoe than the one that I hike in. Uh, but we've seen a lot of people do that, but I'm just hiking in my regular hiking boots. And I think James is in cloth. And I don't know where he is. Water feels awesome because it's like super hot. So many freaking people. Getting deep. Woo, that's cold. Ah. Hey. 
Whoa, look, it goes all the way up there. Water is 53 degrees today, and it doesn't feel cold at all because it's so hot outside. But this is like the most refreshing hike you could ever do because it's hot enough to where you're never going to get cold, and the water is cool enough to keep you cool. So, uh, we've only gone three quarters of a mile, roughly. Um, you can go, what is it, four miles in, but our plan is just to get as f farther in to where we get away from all the people. Uh, <laughs> I figure at some point it's going to, like, probably... It's already, like, there's already fewer people up here. Yeah, I feel like we're just going to come around one corner and everyone's going to be going. gosh we finally reached the point where there are no people it's just us this is nice oh, that's a nice one. wow it ends up like a spring I think so. Oh, let me move. This water is colder for some reason. We're climbing up here to see what what it is. We're gonna have a little snack and then probably head back. To the van because it's four. We don't know where we're camping. So most of the people have cleared out by now and you can just tell how clear the water actually is because when you're walking through it with all the people it's kind of cloudy or whatever but it's settled down. Yeah. It's settled down a lot. It's so beautiful and clear. So after like two miles, we have turned around and we're walking back to the van. We are gonna shower and then go find a wild camp spot and cook dinner because we are so hungry. Again, you do not have to have a permit for the Narrows and you can really just choose how far you want to go. There's a nice little riverside trail that you saw that we walked to get into here. It is completely paved. It's a very easy little stroll. Super cool place. Definitely come check it out if you're in Zion.
check out this natural spring right off the river trail. That's crazy. All right, y'all. We just got back to the van. We're grabbing some quick snacks. Got some avocados, potato chips, salsa. Still trying this Arctic air thing. I don't know. It's it's blowing air. It's fine. Uh, but we're gonna eat the snack and then shower. The showers are just right behind us. It's four dollars for a five minute shower. So probably do two 10 minute showers. And then we're gonna go into Springdale and get some food. That shower was amazing. Thank you Zion Outfitters. What do you think? That was good. <laughs> was really good. eating at pizza and noodle in Springdale and it was amazing when we finished eating it was already dark and we were having a hard time finding a camp spot after a couple failed attempts we finally found a flat spot at the end of a gravel road we had no idea where we were but the next morning we woke up to an incredible surprise so pretty. I had no idea boy we pulled up here at night. I had no idea we picked this spot. Wow. All right, we got to camp last night at like 10 p.m. We had no idea where we were parking. We just kind of found the spot on Iowa Overlander and barely found it because it was so dark. And we woke up this morning to an amazing view and we slept in because I was extremely tired after yesterday, so was James. And today we left our campsite, grabbed some Gatorades, and then now we are at Observation Point Hike, which we've heard from many of locals that is the best view of Zion and so it is a seven mile out and back trail and uh, supposedly it's pretty flat but it's got amazing views and we're lucky enough to get a parking place there's only like 10 spots here and if they're pretty strict on parking um, so you can actually get a shuttle from Zion Ponderosa campsite down there but luckily we got a spot we're gonna go do this hike and then who knows you know we just we don't have nothing planned we're just we're just out here so let's go Oh my gosh, this trail, you, you guys, is so awesome. You got views all out here. And then you just got pines. and It's just like the easiest little hike. Chill. Very relaxing. Just what the doctor ordered after our kind of crazy day of hiking yesterday. We did Angel's Landing and the Narrows. I was so tired. But this is, this is perfect. I'm gonna sit here and drink some Gatorade. How far are we going? Oh, hold on a second. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Wow, that is so deep down there. The sun hasn't hit it yet and it's 11 o'clock. 
That must have been the old trail. Oh, yeah, you're right. Huh. Yeah. So, the observation point trail used to come from the visitor center inside of the park, but there was a huge rock slide a few years ago, and the trail is still closed, so they have this trail. But apparently the old trail was pretty hard because you just gained a bunch of elevation to get up here. You'd go up. 2,200 feet and what was it, nine, eight miles? Yeah. Something hard. Yeah, it was pretty intense, but yeah, basically I mean, came from, from that the, side. Come from the ground over there. Yeah. There's a river down there. Holy crap. It's a nice, really shaped spot for good view right there. So right there yeah. is Angel's Landing. You can kind of see little people out there. That's where we were yesterday morning. But yeah, we are all the way up here. This is insane. Okay, so this is the old trail. Do you see these cuts in the mountain? It goes all the way down there. Do you see that V down there? Yeah, there's a V. So now we have to come back to Zion to do that trail and then also the subway. Oh, look. Wow, and it even it cuts in right there on that edge. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to do that so bad. Rock slides right there. We're just about finished with this hike. Super chill, very relaxing, beautiful views of the entire Zion National Park. I highly recommend that if you are over here. It's like 30 minutes outside of the park, easily accessible, and a really, really good hike for anybody. So anyway, yeah. Now we're walking back to the van and we're gonna head to our next destination right up the road which is bryce canyon thank y'all so much for tuning into this episode and we'll see you next week at bryce canyon <laughs>